Guys, I'm gonna show you how to make some French toast on the Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle, coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes, and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my kitchen. Please consider hitting that red subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. All right team, so what are we doing here today? We are going to be making some French toast using the griddle attachment on my Ninja Foodie Grill and Griddle. Some of y'all might not have the Foodie Grill and Griddle yet, but if you don't, I know there's a griddle uh, insert that you could buy for the uh, older incarnations of the foodie grill. So same principles here, okay? We're gonna heat it up, we're gonna hit it on high. We got a nice little custard mix that we're gonna dip our uh, bread in. I'm just using a plain white bread and uh, make it real simple, all right? So this isn't gonna be a long video, it's not a complicated video, but the final result's gonna be delicious, so make sure you stick around, okay? First things first, I wanted to dry out my bread a little bit. I find that if you dry out the bread a little bit, either let it sit out for a little while or do it like I did. I put it in the oven at 170 degrees for about 20 minutes, and it just kinda dried it out a little bit, all right? It absorbs the custard mix a little bit better and it makes it not quite as soggy, okay? So just a little tip, a little trick, a little something for me to you to help your French toast be not as soggy. Okay. Make sure you guys dry out your bread a little bit. Like I said, either you can leave it out on the counter for a little bit or you can speed up the task and put it in the oven. Cool. Let's get over to the Ninja Foodie Grill Station, otherwise known as my kitchen island. Let's get started. All right, team, the grocery list isn't that extensive. So like I said, you're gonna need some bread, a little stale bread. We got about a half a cup of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. We got a couple eggs that we're gonna whisk. And then we got a little dessert shake from Uncle Steve's shake. If you guys do not have this, which I'll put a link down below so you can grab it. But if you don't have any of this dessert shake, uh, cinnamon and sugar mix will do just fine. A little bit of vanilla, you'll be good to go, okay? And then we got some uh, bourbon barrel aged organic maple syrup. I like the bottle, I thought it was cool. And there ain't nothing wrong with bourbon. Before we get going with our little mix, let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. We're gonna turn it to the griddle setting. It's at 400, that's fine. Go ahead and preheat it. We're gonna cook with the lid open, but it preheats it with it closed, okay? So I have a, a decent sized little bowl here to soak our bread in, but I'm gonna whisk everything and mix it all up in here, in this bowl. Get these eggs in this bowl, get a couple eggs in. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a mess of this in there, about a tablespoon or so. I want to have, you know, these be pretty sweet. And this has some big crystallized sugar that's gonna caramelize when it gets on that hot griddle. So it's gonna add a little different texture to it. So that's why, you know, and I love the flavor, but you know, that's why I like to use it in this. All right, so we're gonna whip up our mix here. You wanna make sure you break down those eggs really well. And put a little air in there. Team, we're still preheating. We're gonna go ahead and add our little custard mix in here. Got me some tongs. I still have the foil out that I, you know, put these in the oven with. So we'll just go ahead and place those on there after we soak up this, soak up the custard. I want to have these ready to go once this is done preheating. Okay, so we're just gonna give it a couple of turns in there, make sure it's getting all that goodness. You can see the cinnamon in that dessert shake. It's looking good. Okay, put it off to the side here. Get these other ones working. You want to let it soak in this custard, but you don't want to over soak your french toast because no one wants soggy french toast right drip some off back on our little makeshift platter here and you can see a bit of it absorbing in there it's gonna be nice and tasty you can see the bubbles popping as it absorbs last one and the amount of uh, eggs and cream i used was really just enough for these four all right, it's ready to go. It was really enough for these four pieces of toast. It's about twice the mix for every four or so slices you're gonna have. Okay, grill is ready to go. It's still heating from the bottom. You do not have to do this, but I do it because I like the flavor. But I'm going to put a little knob of butter in there. This is a non-stick griddle. You don't have to do this. I do it for flavor. Get that worked around. Let's go ahead and get our French toast on there. Let it go for a couple minutes. 
check for uh, brownage. We want these nice and toasted up good. Give them a flip, add some butter, some syrup. We'll be eating soon. All right, team, time to flip these bad boys over. Got some nice color on there. Looking good, nice and golden brown. Toasting up really well. Another couple minutes and we'll be done. But looking good, guys, looking good. All right, team, our French toast is done. Now you may be asking why is there so much butter in the tray? Listen, I did it for the thumbnail. That's what you clicked on. I put butter on each one of these. So this is gonna be some buttery French toast. But that's the only reason it looks like this. But tell me that don't look delicious. I mean, come on. Buttery, sweet, yummy. And of course, you know, when you get a little bit of syrup on there. Luscious. Team, we're done. I'm ready to eat. We're gonna cut into this a little bit. Now I put another pat of butter on there. Listen. It needs it for the thumbnail. <laughs> we need it for the pictures. I didn't want that much butter. Well, maybe I did. I don't know. It probably tastes pretty good, right? Put a bunch of syrup over the top, did the pour, slow mo pour, all that. So let's take a bite. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take a bite. So good. <laughs> guys, that's perfect French toast right there. Give this one a shot. Too good. Set the griddle at 400, dried out the bread, follow these steps, you will get perfect French toast every time, okay? If y'all wanna get one of these Ninja Foodie grilling griddles, there's a link down below to Ninja Kitchen. It's the holiday season right now, so they're doing a bunch of deals on these things. You get a bunch of money off, coupon codes, all that stuff. So hit the links down below, it'll show up. All right. Cutting boards, knives, merch, all that good stuff are all down below. Also, we are working on the website that is gonna be up and running by the beginning of the year of 2022. So make sure you go over there and uh, check it out, okay? Lots more stuff gonna be over there. Gonna be a lot more available to you guys. We do some vlogs, some blogs, some, uh, you get it. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot more interaction over there, okay? So can't wait for it to be up and running. My guys are working on it. Good stuff is coming, okay? All right, y'all, that's it for this week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.